May your destiny helper not open your skirt? We've heard a lot of stories about young women getting harassed in the course of Tring to get help. And sometimes they are afriad to speak up and keep the pain to themselves, leaving them traumatized. Let me tell you a story. Fatima was a bright, ambitious young lady, full of dreams for a better future. Raised by a single mother, she had worked hard through school, determined to make something of herself. But the weight of her family's financial struggles often felt overwhelming. She knew that if she didn't find a way out, her dreams would crumble beneath the weight of her circumstances. One day, Fatima met a man named Mr. Sewell, who was well known in her community for his charitable works. He was a businessman who had helped many young people further their education and secure good jobs. When Fatima told him about her situation, he seemed sympathetic. He offered to help her with tuition and even promised to connect her with influential people in the city who could support her ambitions. Fatima was elated. Finally, someone who could change her life for the better. She confided in her mother, who, though hesitant, trusted Mr. Sewell's reputation and allowed Fatima to go with him to the city. For the first few weeks, things were as promised. Mr. Sewell took her to meet various people, introduced her to opportunities, and even paid for her initial tuition fees. But slowly, things began to shift. He started asking her to stay late for meetings and dinners that made her uncomfortable. He would comment on her looks in ways that unsettled her, but she brushed it off, telling herself he was just being kind. One evening, after an event, Mr. Sewell offered to drop her off at her new apartment. Instead of taking her home, he stopped at a hotel, saying he had some work to finish and that she should wait with him. Fatima felt a deep unease settle in, but she didn't want to seem ungrateful. She waited, trying to remain calm, Suddenly, everything changed. Mr. Sewell's demeanor grew cold and menacing. He told her that she owed him for everything he had done. He reminded her of the money he had spent and the promises he had kept. Fatima tried to reason with him, saying she would repay him in time, but his intentions became clear. He wanted something far more than money. When she refused, he became aggressive, forcing himself on her despite her cries and resistance. The man who was supposed to be her destiny helper became her worst nightmare. In that dark, suffocating moment, Fatima's world shattered. When it was over, she was left broken, both physically and emotionally. Mr. Sewell told her not to speak of it, reminding her of the power he held and the connections he had. He left her alone, terrified and ashamed. Fatima didn't return home, she couldn't bring herself to face her mother, to tell her that the man they had trusted had betrayed her in the worst possible way. She carried the weight of the trauma alone, unsure of how to move forward. This is a warning to all young women. Not every opportunity is as it seems, and not every helping hand is pure. Fatima's story is a tragic reminder that trust must be earned, and that predators often disguise themselves as helpers. Be cautious question everything, and never feel that you owe anyone anything that compromises your safety or dignity. The price of misplaced trust can be devastating, but your voice, your worth, and your life are far too precious to be silenced. Pray that your destiny helper should not remove your skirt. If I'm talking your mind, share this video. Give me a like and tell us your thoughts in the comment section.